Tony. I'm Tony Marinucci and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist. I have the passion of helping people incorporate a healthy lifestyle through both diet and exercise. My motto is helping people get healthy one bite at a time. I came up with that motto because it takes time to form habits so that they stick. It's really hard to just U-Haul your diet overnight. The reason behind that is because we grew up in certain household settings, certain family functions, where food became a tradition, it became a celebration, and it became part of a much bigger and larger spectrum than just eating and fueling our bodies for proper nutrition. So that's why I wanted to bring you to my family's kitchen. We are in my wonderful, wonderful house that I grew up eating traditional dishes from Italy and Greece and other you know, American made dishes. So today we're going to take a few of those recipes that you may have gone grown up eating and I too have grew up eating that wasn't necessarily the most nutritious dish, but it was delicious. The challenge today for me is being able to make the food taste just as good as if your grandmother made it or your mother made it but also have the nutrition components that are beneficial to your health. So it's taking those traditional family meals and making small swaps to it. Today we're gonna do your steak and potatoes type of meal with a healthy switch. And then we're gonna do a healthy taco, like the shrimp taco, for your next Taco Tuesday. First we're gonna start off with your steak and potatoes type of dish. The steak that people choose can be all different types of cut, in order to make it a leaner steak, you want to choose a sirloin. I have today the sirloin tips. We are going to use a basic salt and pepper seasoning on this steak. So we're going to do um, basic salt and pepper seasoning, but before we do that, we're going to coat the steak in an olive oil blend of other flavors. So we're going to do the olive oil, we're going to do the pepper, and we're going to do a little bit of salt. Now the reason why I put the oil separate rather than directly on the steak is I find that when you use a brush and you kind of mix it together, you get an even amount of olive oil on each piece of steak but you also don't get an abundance of it at one time. Olive oil is a very heart healthy fat that you wanna definitely incorporate in your everyday diet. However, just like other types of fat, it's higher in calories, so it should be used sparingly if weight loss is one of your nutrition goals. So we are done kind of spreading the olive oil on. You could also flip it over. Make sure you get both sides. And then you can use any other seasonings. I like to use garlic powder, so I'm going to sprinkle that on the top. Flip it over. And make sure it's kind of coated on both sides. Steak is very flavorful on its own, even the leaner cuts, so you really don't have to go crazy with the salt shaker. Using natural herbs like garlic powder and pepper will bring out the natural flavors of the meat. So I put it on a broiling pan. I preheated the oven and put it on broiling. Broiling is a cooking method that really is at very, very high temperature, so therefore it cooks the meat really quickly and it actually caramelizes and browns the top of the meat and it really kind of gets to the surface. So the texture and the look and the appearance is wonderful and beautiful. Um, but it also doesn't, it's not something like frying where you're adding a lot of fat to it. It really keeps the nutrition at its peak. So we're gonna put this in the oven. So we're gonna let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. And while that's cooking, we're gonna get the vegetables prepared. Traditionally, a steak and potatoes type of meal usually has green beans on the side or maybe corn. What I wanted to do today was add to the green beans, so use something like a zucchini to create more color on the plate. So we're just gonna put the zucchini in with the green beans. 
We're going to make sure that it's spread nice and evenly. And before we do that, we want to season it. So we're going to do a drizzle of olive oil. Salt and pepper. Pretty much your, your basic flavoring. Um, I like to see the salt visually in my hand using literally the littlest bit. And you really only need a little bit because we're going to be using a lemon pepper seasoning. So it's just lemon with pepper, no added salt. Sometimes your seasoners, your blends, have a lot of sodium in them, so you need to double check and make sure that they don't, in the ingredients, there's not salt as well. Then you have your garlic pepper. The more you cook with me, you're going to recognize that I use garlic powder on pretty much everything. I love it. So we're just going to make sure we toss that. Once again, it's nice and even. And then the oven has been preheated on 350. We're going to bake it. Another healthy cooking method to utilize. All right, it's ready for the oven. So the last thing we're going to do is cook our potato. Traditionally, the meal consists of steak, green beans, and mashed potatoes. I like to keep the potato in the whole form. You get a lot more nutrition that way, and you don't have to add any type of butter or milk or any other additives that add more calories. You can get the nutrition, the potassium, the fiber in just the potato alone. Now, another trick I'm going to teach you is that potatoes usually take about 45 minutes to an hour to bake in the oven for, you know, depending on the size of the potato, it can take up a lot of time. As you can tell, our meat is going to be ready within 15 minutes. The vegetables are going to be ready within 20 minutes. So, so to save time, we are actually going to put the potato in the microwave. And it takes seven minutes or less. Microwaves today actually have the button that say potato, you click it, you forget about it, and in seven minutes you come back and it's ready to consume. While the baked potato is in the microwave, we're going to flip over our meat. It's been about five minutes, so we're going to put the oven light on first before we open up the oven. Every time you open the oven, you lose heat and it actually increases the cooking time, which the longer it stays in the oven, the less flavor it might actually have. So you really want to preserve that flavor and not lose that heat. So we're going to put the oven light on to take a little peek inside. It definitely looks a little bit more brown, so what I'm going to do is open this up. The meat's ready to be taken out of the oven. All right, so this is our steak. I'm gonna be put about two and a half portions. A healthy portion of protein is usually about the size of your palm. In my other videos, you've heard me talk about portion sizes and using your palm to dictate how much your protein portion should be because everyone's palm size is different. So if you're larger, you need a little bit more protein than someone who's smaller, like a child. So use your palm as a guide. So for my palm, I would say about two and a half sizes, two and a half portions are good. So you're going to do that. Our baked potato is already done. We're going to put that on the side. And now the rest of the plate is going to be the vegetables. So we're going to pull those out of the oven. So now we're going to make the whole half of the plate the vegetables. Look at that color. The color is where the nutrition is. So I'm very generous with my vegetables, and I think 
that you should be too. If you really want to get healthy, the more veggies the better. So we're going to put that on the plate, make about half of it. And then lastly, is not done just yet. We are going to, you're probably thinking a baked potato by itself, that's so boring. Well, don't worry. We are going to add some, not sour cream, non-fat plain Greek yogurt. When you add that to your baked potato, it looks and what, just like sour cream, and it tastes pretty similar to sour cream. You really won't know the difference. But the difference is that the non-fat Greek yogurt has calcium, vitamin D, and a lot of protein. So it's a much more nutritious swap. So there it is, your traditional steak and potatoes and green beans with a little healthy swap and alternative. My father, my wonderful father is here to taste the food. Dad, you like steak and potatoes, right? Course. Yeah, so what we're going to try today is I know growing up I used to eat your food and I loved it and it was delicious. Mommy is a very, very good cook. Um, but today we made a little healthy swap. We used a sirloin cut. It's leaner in fat, doesn't have as much fat. This is, believe it or not, non-fat Greek yogurt and not sour cream on a baked potato. And then, yeah, and but wait to try it. I think you're going to like it. And then we have your zucchini and green beans as your nutrition, your color. Love it. The best part of the dish. Yes. <laughs> All right, Dad, let me know what you think. Be where, honest, where I, I can start? take it. Whatever you want. <laughs> well, of course, I'm going for the steak first. <laughs> okay. Probably should have got you a steak knife. That would have been helpful. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Very good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, I'm interested to see what you think about the baked potato with the sour cream. Well, the sour cream swap. The non sour cream. Is excellent. Well, you can finish it after, but tell me mm -hmm. you have to finish it. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I would finish the steak. Okay. So just take a piece of this with the skin. With the skin, that's where the fiber is. There's fiber in the inside as well, but most of the fiber is in the skin. Okay. Try to be. <laughs> Perfect. Do so you know that we actually baked the potato in the microwave? We didn't actually bake it in the oven. So it only took uh, took under eight minutes to make. Microwave is healthy. <laughs> well, it's a quicker, faster cooking method. It actually retains the nutrition profile. Of, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And then we have your green beans and your zucchini. Let okay. me know what you think about those. Okay, we'll go for the zucchini first. You can put them together. It doesn't matter. Well, then you don't get the true <laughs> flavor. This is true. It's not fair to the rest of the group. <laughs> Excellent. Also. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And now the green beans. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you think. Green beans. Okay, we're going to just take the whole thing. <laughs> Al dente. Very good. You like it crunchy. I know you yeah. like things. I like your well, pasta. You like all like that. Right. Yeah. So the, that's actually very true. When you cook something for a longer period of time, it starts to lose the nutritional components. So cooking something at a shorter temperature, giving it that little crunch, is going to have a little bit more nutrition. And a creamy taste. That's interesting. Just a little bit of olive oil, no yeah. butter. Very yeah. Very so good. do you think you could eat like this more often? Let me tell you again. <laughs> I think, I think he's enjoying it. I think yeah. that we're able to make those healthy swaps so you can keep the tradition, eat with your family. It's really mm -hmm. important. As you can hear, my hungry, adorable Puggle is really hungry and wants to try the steak. He, you can see him now. He's coming up. So we're going to make some shrimp tacos. So stay put, but right now, oh, I got to feed the food. She's hungry. So let's, let's feed him. Let's see if he likes the steak. Oh, you think so, huh? <laughs> a nice rare piece. All right. Is that too big for him? I, I think, think he'll be okay. I think he can handle it. I think Come he on, can. Can you see him? Okay, Emilio. <laughs> Sit. This is the time to shine. Give me a paw. <laughs> Give me a paw. Okay, here's a steak. <laughs> <laughs> My dad and the crew love this steak. So now I'm going to try to go two for two. We're going to do a rendition of your typical Taco Tuesday. Today we're doing shrimp tacos. 
this shrimp has already been cooked, but it hasn't been seasoned, and we want the shrimp taco to be hot and warm. So we're gonna get to that, but before we start cooking, I wanna kinda show you what you can put in your taco to make it more nutritional. So we already use the shrimp, which is a good replacement for maybe, you might usually do ground beef or pork. So we're gonna do the shrimp because it's a lean protein. And then we're gonna top it with some corn. I have shredded lettuce, black beans, a light, low-fat Mexican cheese blend, your non-fat plain Greek yogurt instead of the sour cream. We're gonna keep that swap as is. It's a really good one. And then instead of salsa or sour cream as your toppers or maybe guacamole, we're gonna use fresh avocado, fresh tomatoes, fresh red onion, some lime juice, and cilantro. Salsa, it can be really, really good for us. However, the bottled salsas, the ones that you get in the supermarket that are already on the shelf, they tend to have a lot of sodium and salt to it. So the fresher, the better. And then obviously we're gonna use a corn tortilla shell. You can also use a whole grain flour tortilla if that's what you prefer. Um, I just prefer the corn tortilla. So we're gonna get started and cook the shrimp and then we'll build our taco. So I have the pan on medium heat. We are going to put a little bit of olive oil on the pan. I'm gonna throw in our shrimp. That one's again, it's already been cooked. It's also devined. The tails are off. It's ready to go. Just need some seasoning. Throw that in. Then we're gonna season. Once again, a little bit of salt, not too much. Keep it in the hand as a nice way to actually visibly see how much. It's really not much. Throw that over the top. Some pepper. And some red cayenne pepper. Give it a little different type of flavor. And lastly, crushed red pepper, because I like a little kick and spice in my dishes. So as that cooks, we're just going to kind of toss it, make sure all the flavors blend together. So we're going to taste it. It's important to taste your food as you cook it, as you go, so you know if it's seasoned enough. All right, that looks ready to go and ready to eat. Put it in the bowl. Time to build our taco. So we're gonna take our corn tortilla shell. I'm gonna put the lettuce on the bottom. Most people put it on top, but I feel that when you put it on the bottom, then you fill less of the other stuff, which is fine, it's nutritious, but you want, don't wanna to have too many things that which more food adds more calories if you're really trying to lose weight. So put the lettuce on the bottom. I'm gonna put the black beans on the bottom as well because that is where a lot of the nutrition is, that fiber, antioxidants. Black beans are a power food. We could put the star of the dish on now. We'll do the shrimp. Now we're going to add the corn on the top. We'll sprinkle a little bit of the light Mexican blend cheese. Some fresh avocado. I love avocado. Some onion. Tomato. We're gonna do a little bit of the lime juice. Your non-fat plain Greek yogurt right on top like that. And then for a little garnish and flavor, cilantro. Now that looks like a good shrimp taco. Okay. All right, let's see how this tastes. Well, that's good. It's spicy, but not too spicy. It's fresh. You have the beans, you have the avocado, the tomato, a little bit of the cheese. 
I want to get this side though because this side has the avocado with the sour cream, well, non-fat Greek yogurt. Let's see how this side tastes. Just as good. Wow. So, there you have it. An easy and nutritious way to have a healthy Taco Tuesday. So, no need to go on a diet, avoid seeing your friends because you're on a diet. You can still join them and go to your Taco Tuesday. Host the Taco Tuesday. You can find this recipe on my blog, tipswithtony.wordpress.com. I hope that you learned some healthy things that you can do, some healthy swaps that you can make at home, and I hope that I helped you get healthy one bite at a time. Until next time.